You know, I wanted to be a, a teacher uh, from the time I was six or seven years old. I had a, a, a little wooden playhouse out in our backyard and I would recruit all the neighborhood kids to come in while I taught them uh, and pretended that I was their teacher. So it didn't surprise anyone when I became a teacher back in 1976. school district for 39 years, basically my entire adult life. In my current role, uh, this is my first year as superintendent. At the district office, uh, before becoming superintendent, I was the director of curriculum and assessment, and then I was the assistant superintendent and then the deputy superintendent. I think that we've been able to create a school district that rivals what people would expect from a private school education. Currently, we have six comprehensive junior highs, six comprehensive high schools, and then another half dozen alternative schools for everything from students that want to accelerate into a college-like atmosphere to a program for students who need uh, therapeutic support in order to get their education. We have a home school support program and an award-winning um, uh, continuation school as well. So I think it's been exciting to be able to create a, a program that not only excels academically, uh, the Hart District continues to be recognized as one of the academically strongest uh, high school districts of our size, um, but also to have such exceptional performing arts programs, and then of course our renowned uh, sports programs. I think that all goes to making the Heart District really special. After a couple years of transitioning to Common Core, the 15-16 school year is going to be the full implementation year, and we're really excited about it. Uh, we have put a lot of our resources towards professional development so that our teachers, especially in the areas of math, English, and science, will be uh, as well prepared as possible. Our infusion of technology into the classroom really supports what Common Core is all about. This last year alone, we were able to add 4,000 devices to our school sites. We're using mostly Chromebooks, and at the junior high school levels now, we've surpassed uh, two students for every one device. We're pretty close to one-to-one -one at the junior high school level. That means teachers have received a lot of professional development on how they can have their students uh, work with the technology, do research on the internet, um, come up with their own presentations and using the word processing software. So that has been new and exciting. This summer school, as I walked through classrooms, uh, I was amazed that almost every single classroom I walked through uh, was using technology to enhance what was going on in the classroom. So that's, that's a big change. Something else that's very important to the Heart District is earlier I told you that, that we're growing and uh, uh, we're, of course, adding a new high school out in the Castaic area. We have several schools that are undergoing substantial modernization efforts. Uh, two of the projects that I'm the proudest of right now would be the performing arts centers that we're adding to Canyon High School and to uh, Saugus High School. Canyon High School should be finished in, in just a couple months, hopefully before the start of the new year. And uh, with Saugus, our governing board uh, just approved at their last meeting for us to go forward and find a construction manager to get that program going as well. So a lot of exciting things happening in the, in the building and facilities area as well. Our biggest goal is to make sure that every single student has access to all that we have to offer and make every student the best that they can be. So my goal for our staff, for all of our students, is um, not just to do things in a way that meets 
the needs of the majority of kids, but to make sure no one's falling through the cracks, to look at the students who maybe haven't been participating to the same levels that other students have in our extracurricular uh, activities, in our, in our career preparation activities, in our academic program, to find some way to reach each and every student and get them hooked in uh, so they also can, can maximize their potential after high school.